Hello, this is a very quick video on how to use the Vernet Caliper. The Vernet Caliper is a wonderful tool. It allows us to measure length down to a tenth of a millimeter. Because as you know, most rulers only go down to a millimeter precision, and this allows us to go one extra digit more precise than that. Now most of this contraption here does look like a regular ruler. You've got your um, centimeter scale, millimeter scale, and the inches on top, which we don't use. Um, it's mostly what's happening up front here that allows us to get down to, to that extra digit. Um, now as we move this back and forth, you notice there's a few things that move around, and it allows us to measure different things. Very quickly, uh, this thing down here allows us to measure regular lengths, I guess, or outer diameter, outer length of different objects. This part up here, that allows us to measure the uh, size of gaps and holes. And then this part back here, it's for measuring the depth of the hole. So we put it right there, hit the bottom, and then we know how deep the hole is. Most of the time though, we will be using this part for regular lengths. So let's take a real reading and we'll show you how to read the actual number off of. Close in on it. And then we that. Oh! We have a reading. Now, the first two digits, meaning your centimeter and your millimeter digits, you will read from the regular ruler. But where do you read it? You read it right on all these lines on the bottom here you read from the leftmost line and you read and you'll see that it seems like it's between 4.3 and 4.4 .4. so that means it's 43 point something millimeters now point something that's when the rest of these lines come in you find one of these lines down here that lines up best with any line on top that's how you would read that Let's see so I would argue that it's the second one here that lines up best so therefore we will say this is 43.2 millimeters in length the last thing you want to check with uh, a vernier caliper is that your zero reading is good and just have to close the jaws up. Sometimes you want to wipe off the grime out here. And you just take a look, close it in, see, make sure that when it should read zero, it is in fact reading zero. And that's it. That's how you read a Vernet caliper and get lovely readings down to a tenth of a millimeter.